The federal government, United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, in collaboration with Global Learning Exchange USA, at the launching of the Global Learning Exchange Program for Nigerian Youth in Abuja, is set to give 100% scholarships to Nigerian youth by educating and recreating learning opportunity for individuals. And now stakeholders say the bilateral relationship will be achieved through Global Learning Exchange in technology under the umbrella of the August Project TAP, supported by the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Sustainable Development Goals. Captain Correspondent Asmo. Education across the globe, intelligence in motivation equally dispersed across the globe, but access to education is not today. Hence the need to fix through global learning exchange, particularly technology. In a bilateral relationship, the federal government through the National Youth Service Corps, the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization in partnership with Global Learning Exchange, are set to provide the youth with a positive study environment, access to technology, variety of academic and career development support resources. According to Latif Olagunju, Secretary General UNESCO National Commission Nigeria speaks on the role of the youth in nation development. So it is imperative to emphasize that the initiative is focusing mainly on the importance of enhancing the United Nations Global Goal 17 as a partnership for development, especially as it concerns the youth in Nigeria now. This will go a long way to strategize, to strategically expose the Nigerian youth to the dynamics of our society and also encourage them to be active participants in governance as responsible citizens of our dear nation, Nigeria. Stakeholder states that the National Youth Service Corps has been a front runner in equipping and preparing young ones to contribute to development in Nigeria. It suffices to say that NYC, as a result of its massive manpower and uh, reach, has been in the forefront of several initiatives of global concern. The scheme championed the HIV AIDS intervention in Nigeria, and through the dynamic and resourcefulness of core members, the HIV AIDS situation has remained fairly stable. Other areas of intervention include the UNICEF U report enlistment. We are the highest in the world, over 4 million uh, people enlisted, and we are still pushing. Other stakeholders reiterate the importance of education, also say support and scholarship will be given to students who are eligible. The way in which Global Learning Exchange got developed, if you will, is we saw we had this technology and we thought we need to go bigger and we need to bring this across the entire globe. To start things with, off, part of uh, our focal point on this partnership is the scholarships that we are offering to participants of the August project. So this is how we see this working. TAP students who apply for a matriculating degree program through the Global Learning Exchange will receive a scholarship that covers 100% of the cost of the first course in the program. We will also cover 100% of all cost of the last course. Abdusalami Ladikbolu, President's Read and Earn Federation for UNESCO, says the initiative will give youths a competitive advantage to embed high quality education. Partnering with the organization like Sonic Foundry Global Learning Exchange USA will play a critical role towards a formidable strategic implementation to achieve a level playing ground for you to explore and achieve their goals at their own pace. This country youth population boasts some of the most creative in the world giving them the right tools and environment, Nigerian youth can co compete at the highest level in various industries and exceed expectation. 
Hence, UNESCO and Global Learning Exchange, with the aid of the federal government, seek to strengthen capacity building programs for the youth and to implement all sustainable development goals in Nigeria.